What is going on everyone, my name is Jason, and this is the Logitech Combo Touch for the iPad. Okay, so during the holidays last year, I made the decision to finally upgrade my outdated iPad 2 with the 7th generation 10.2 inch iPad. Why did I end up going with this model? Well, truthfully, I wanted to get the iPad Pro, but it was just too expensive for me. And on the other side of that coin, this iPad was on sale for only $250, which was too good for me to pass up. And honestly, it's turned out to be one of the best purchases I've made, as this thing is value packed, no doubt about it. But full transparency, I was pretty jelly when Apple announced the amazing looking Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pros, especially when I saw that it included a built-in trackpad. Unfortunately, Apple did not make one for the non-pro models. Now I know there's a handful of third-party keyboard cases out there, some with a trackpad that seem enticing, but it became clear quite quickly that there was only one device that would adequately scratch my Magic Keyboard itch, and that's this guy, the Logitech Combo Touch Case for the non-pro iPad. And man, this thing is a game changer. For anyone who legitimately wants to leverage their iPad as more of a laptop replacement, this case really helps you get there. And today I'm going to go over its features, and at the end, I'll talk about why the Logitech Combo Touch is the only option you should go with when considering a legit case for your iPad. Now before we get into the review, if you're into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you're just a tech head like me, I make a video like this every single week, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to know when a new JSL review is out and you don't miss anything. Okay first, let's talk about physical design. The case consists of two separate pieces. First, you have the main part of the case in which you insert your iPad. It's made out of a heavy-duty rubber that provides some serious protection, which is great as many keyboard cases don't emphasize safety as much as they should. There's cutouts for the camera, headphone jack, microphone, and lightning port. The case is a bit thick, making access to the ports a bit recessed, but it's nothing too irritating. It also has this nice holder for a stylus or your Apple Pencil, which is great if you use your iPad a lot for drawing or handwritten work. The other piece is the keyboard portion of the case. It's relatively thin, but extremely sturdy. It doesn't bend or flex even when applying a lot of pressure, and it's covered in a very tightly woven fabric material. It actually very much resembles the keyboard on the popular Surface Pro laptop. Putting the iPad in the case is really easy, just gently press it in for a snug fit, and the keyboard actually connects magnetically to the built-in smart connector on the iPad itself. The connection is very firm, and I love how it snaps in with confidence. There's an adjustable kickstand on the back of the case to adjust the angle when using the iPad. It's not the most elegant implementation, but it's actually quite functional as you can adjust the angle for multiple uses, such as typing or a flatter angle for sketching. And if you're just consuming content, you can easily take the keyboard portion off for more comfortable use. The case can be closed in this clamshell fashion, and it makes it super easy to take with you on the go. Overall, it's not as premium of a physical design as the Apple Magic Keyboard, but it's well thought out and hyper functional, and is no doubt well made. Okay, next, let's talk about functionality, starting with the keyboard. Now, Logitech is a household name when it comes to peripherals, and it's no surprise that the keyboard in the combo touch is top-notch. I love that it's full-sized, it makes it very easy to type on, and even though you don't get a ton of travel on the keys, there's enough to get a satisfying press, and it's a way better typing experience than the more expensive Apple Smart Keyboard made for this iPad. It's not as mushy and doesn't require as much pressure to register the keys, and it's relatively quiet when typed on. Probably the best feature of the keyboard, utilizing the smart connector makes this thing ready to go immediately as soon as you get it connected. There's no battery needed as it uses power from the iPad itself, and there's no latency whatsoever with this direct connection. This all makes for super fast, super efficient usability, and it's so nice not having to worry about battery or going through a drawn out pairing process. Another great aspect of this keyboard is the full row of function keys on the top, very useful and very laptop-like. And last, the keyboard is backlit, which is great for typing in the dark. It automatically activates when the keys are pressed, and automatically turns off an idle in this nice smooth transitional fade, which can actually be adjusted using the Logitech Control app, which also provides software updates to the case itself. All in all, the keyboard on this case is extremely well designed and feature packed. It actively makes me want to use the iPad more as a content creation device, and it definitely lives up to Logitech's high standard of quality. Okay, next, let's talk about the trackpad. With the updated iPad OS with trackpad support, this feature truly elevates the experience of using your iPad more as a dedicated computer. First of all, the trackpad is really well made. It has a nice physical click that's tactile and responsive. Now you can't click on the very top of the trackpad, however, but it's large enough not to be a major issue in terms of functionality. Without a doubt, the best part about the trackpad on the Combo Touch is that it actually works really well. Two finger scrolling is incredibly smooth and responsive. Again, you get no latency with this direct connection for a buttery smooth experience. And I'm a huge gesture guy, and all the gestures work perfectly on this trackpad. You can swipe up with your fingers to go to the home page, swipe side to side to jump into open apps, and swipe up and hold to get your multitask view. It makes navigating around your iPad really easy to do, and it makes more precise actions like selecting a tab on a browser, or getting to a specific spot on a Word document so much easier to do. 
Now you might be saying to yourself, that's what trackpads are supposed to do. Why such a big deal on normal functionality? Well, here's the thing about trackpad support for iPadOS. It's not exactly an easy operating system to integrate into, something you'll notice right away in virtually all other third-party keyboard cases with a trackpad, as functionality on those cases is limited to say the least. You won't get near the smooth latency-free experience, especially when it comes to scrolling and gestures, which will leave most users ultimately just frustrated and annoyed. And that's the reason why to me, this is the only keyboard case with a trackpad that I could recommend to anyone, really looking to beef up the functionality of their non-pro iPad. Logitech is the only company Apple has allowed deep access into the iPad OS inner workings, hence why it works hand in hand with the iPad so well, and it's the only third-party keyboard that Apple advertises on the Apple website. Now it is $150, which I do recognize is expensive, but to me you have to see this case as an investment. It'll protect your iPad from damage, it'll make it way more usable as a portable computer, and the reliability it offers is unmatched with the competitors out there. Plus, if you put it side by side with Apple's $160 smart keyboard for this iPad that doesn't even have a trackpad, to me it's a no-brainer buy. It's better in virtually every way, and it makes my not-so-pro iPad feel pretty pro to me. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys find it useful, it really helps me out. If you guys have any questions about the Logitech Combo Touch, leave them down in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.